Energy Protection Written and published by NGAS Life Keeping up with your energy levels can be quite a challenge in today's fast-paced and demanding world. In a world filled with numerous responsibilities, obligations, and distractions, it's common to feel exhausted, stressed, and out of touch with our authentic selves. Nevertheless, by being proactive in safeguarding and nurturing our energy, we can foster a stronger sense of equilibrium, adaptability, and overall wellness in our daily lives. Energy Protection Steps to Maintain and Protect Your Energy is a guide that aims to simplify the challenges of modern life and help you preserve your most valuable resource, your energy. This book provides a collection of practical lessons and valuable insights that will help you prioritize self-care, establish healthy boundaries, and foster a stronger connection with your true self. In the following pages, you will find valuable insights on self-focus, setting boundaries, and fostering a positive mindset to tackle challenges with grace and resilience. You'll also discover techniques for setting and maintaining boundaries, effectively managing your time, and expressing your true emotions to cultivate more meaningful connections. Furthermore, energy protection delves into the importance of listening to your intuition, knowing when to take a break and rejuvenate, and integrating self-care activities such as massage into your daily routine to naturally increase your energy levels. By the end of this book, you will have a wide range of strategies and techniques to protect and nurture your energy. This will help you be your best self in every aspect of your life. If you're looking to improve your relationships, enhance your career, or cultivate inner peace and well-being, Energy Protection is the perfect guide to help you unlock your personal energy's full potential and thrive in a demanding world. Lesson 1. Be focused on yourself. Celine had always prioritized the needs of others, often at the expense of her own. She was always there for her friends and family, ready to help or listen. Over time, Celine started to experience the consequences of neglecting herself. She was completely drained both physically and emotionally, and felt completely disconnected from her own wants and dreams. One day, Celine had had enough. She was exhausted from a busy week of work and social commitments, and she couldn't take it anymore. She came to the realization that she couldn't keep giving when she had nothing left and that a change was necessary. She made the difficult choice to prioritize her own well-being and temporarily step away from her responsibilities. Initially, the concept of prioritizing herself seemed unfamiliar and self-centered to Celine. She had become accustomed to always putting others first, leaving little room to focus on her own needs. However, as she delved into what truly mattered to her, she found a newfound sense of clarity and purpose. Celine began by establishing clear boundaries with her loved ones. Expressing her desire for personal space and prioritizing her own well-being. She also started incorporating activities that brought her happiness and a sense of purpose into her schedule. Like painting, hiking, and practicing yoga. These little acts of self-care revitalized her and boosted her energy levels. As Celine continued to prioritize her own well-being, she observed a change in her relationships as well. By prioritizing her own well-being, she found that she could genuinely connect with others in a more meaningful way. She also attracted a circle of supportive and uplifting people into her life who valued her for her true self, rather than what she could offer them. Nevertheless, Celine encountered some difficulties on her path to self-focus. At times, she experienced guilt for declining others or prioritizing her own time. She also encountered opposition from certain people close to her, who were accustomed to her constant availability and willingness to accommodate. In spite of these challenges, Celine stayed dedicated to her personal well-being and development. She reached out to a therapist who assisted her in addressing her people, pleasing habits and cultivating a stronger sense of self. She also built a network of people who shared her goals and cheered her on as she made progress. Over time, 
Celine started to witness the positive outcomes of her self-focus. She experienced a newfound sense of vitality, mental sharpness, and direction. She also realized that her relationships had become more genuine and satisfying, as she could be her authentic self, instead of constantly trying to please others. Reflecting on her journey, Celine came to understand that prioritizing her own needs was not a selfish act, but rather a way to show herself love and respect. By making herself a priority and focusing on personal growth, she found the energy to live a more balanced and meaningful life. She understood that the process of self-reflection was a lifelong endeavor, but she felt enthusiastic about the prospect of continuously expanding her knowledge, personal development, and exploration of life's possibilities. Celine's story is a powerful reminder that when we prioritize ourselves, it can lead to profound transformation. By prioritizing our own needs and desires, we can develop the resilience, clarity, and purpose necessary to gracefully and wisely navigate life's challenges. Let's learn from Celine's example and prioritize ourselves one day at a time. It is important to prioritize self-care in order to maintain a healthy and fulfilling life. In today's fast-paced world, it's common to prioritize the needs and expectations of others, often neglecting our own self-care and personal growth. Nevertheless, by actively focusing on your own well-being and developing a strong sense of self, you can establish a reliable basis for maintaining energy that will benefit you in every aspect of your life. Essentially, prioritizing yourself involves placing your own needs, desires, and aspirations at the forefront. It requires a clear understanding of your values, what brings you happiness and satisfaction, and the life you aspire to build. Having a strong understanding of your identity and values allows you to make choices and behave in ways that reflect your true self, rather than being influenced by outside forces or societal norms. Developing self-awareness is crucial for creating a life that brings you energy and inspiration, rather than one that leaves you feeling drained and depleted. Learning to set healthy boundaries is crucial when it comes to focusing on yourself. It's important to clearly define your boundaries and effectively communicate them to others. Declining requests or invitations that don't align with your values or capacity can sometimes pose a challenge, particularly when they come from loved ones or colleagues. By respecting your personal boundaries and prioritizing what truly matters to you, you can avoid feeling overwhelmed or resentful. Keep in mind that establishing boundaries is not a selfish act. Instead, it's a way to take care of yourself and be fully present in your relationships and responsibilities. Developing a strong sense of self-compassion is another important aspect of focusing on yourself. It involves showing yourself the same level of kindness, understanding, and forgiveness that you would offer to a close friend. When you make mistakes or face challenges, it's a breeze to slip into patterns of self-criticism or negative self-talk. Nevertheless, through fostering a kind and encouraging inner dialogue, you can develop resilience and sustain your energy during challenging moments. Keep in mind that everyone makes mistakes and encounters challenges. These situations can be valuable chances for personal development and education, rather than reasons to criticize or fault oneself. Another aspect of prioritizing yourself is dedicating time to activities and practices that nurture your mind, body, and spirit. Each person's experience may vary based on their unique needs and preferences. For some people, incorporating regular exercise or yoga into their routine can help increase physical energy and alleviate stress. Some people find that pursuing a creative hobby or learning a new skill can help stimulate the mind and create a sense of flow and engagement. It is crucial to prioritize activities that bring you joy and fulfillment in order to maintain your energy and avoid burnout, regardless of their nature. Another crucial aspect of prioritizing yourself involves developing a mindful and present mindset. In today's fast-paced and technology-driven world, it can be challenging to find moments of quiet reflection and introspection, 
amidst the constant stream of information and stimulation. By simply slowing down and being present, you can cultivate clarity, purpose, and inner peace. One way to incorporate these practices is by engaging in activities like meditation, deep breathing, or setting aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and observe your thoughts and feelings without any judgment. Furthermore, incorporating these internal practices also entails cultivating a network of encouraging and positive relationships. It's crucial to have a support system of loved ones and mentors who can provide guidance, encouragement, and inspiration, even if we value self-reliance and independence. By finding connections that match your values and aspirations and releasing those that drain you, you can cultivate a social circle that nurtures your energy and personal development. Undoubtedly, directing your attention towards yourself can be quite challenging particularly when you have numerous obligations and tasks to juggle. Nevertheless, if you dedicate yourself to putting your well-being and personal growth first, you can develop the resilience and resilience and resourcefulness necessary to gracefully and wisely handle life's obstacles. One way to make things more manageable is by learning to delegate tasks. Setting boundaries by saying no to non-essential commitments or allowing yourself to take breaks and recharge when necessary. In order to sustain your energy through self-focus, it is important to view it as a continuous journey rather than a singular occurrence. It's important to consistently reflect on yourself, take care of yourself, and explore who you are. It's also crucial to be open to adapting and growing as your needs and situation evolve. By embracing your true self and following your own individual journey, you can create a life that is truly invigorating, satisfying, and genuine. Ultimately, prioritizing self-care is a crucial aspect of sustaining your vitality and leading a harmonious and meaningful existence. By incorporating certain practices into your daily routine, you can establish a solid foundation for maintaining your energy levels. These practices include setting boundaries, being kind to yourself, engaging in activities that nourish you, staying present and mindful, surrounding yourself with supportive people, and continuously working on personal growth. Always remember to prioritize your own well-being as it allows you to show up fully for yourself and others. Lesson 2. Dare yourself to say no. Having the ability to say no is a valuable tool in maintaining and protecting our energy and living a balanced life. However, for many of us, saying no can feel intimidating and even scary. We often find ourselves concerned about letting others down, not seizing opportunities or being seen as self-centered or unhelpful. Consequently, we frequently find ourselves overwhelmed, spread too thin, and lacking the energy necessary to flourish. To truly prioritize our well-being and maintain our energy, it's important to be willing to say no when necessary. Declining requests is not about being pessimistic or uncooperative. Instead, it is about being purposeful and thoughtful with our resources. By accepting every request or invitation that comes our way, we often neglect the things that truly matter to us. Many times, we end up neglecting our own needs and wants to fulfill the demands of others. This can result in feelings of resentment, burnout, and a disconnection from our true selves. When we have the courage to refuse, we make room for the things that match our values, passions, and purpose. This also communicates to ourselves and others that our time and energy are important and should be respected. Certainly, declining can be more challenging in practice, particularly for those who tend to prioritize others' needs or have an aversion to confrontation. There is a concern that declining requests could potentially harm our relationships, cause us to miss out on significant opportunities, or lead others to view us negatively as being uncooperative or difficult. Nevertheless, it's crucial to keep in mind that declining a request doesn't mean rejecting the person, but rather prioritizing our own needs and boundaries. By clearly and respectfully expressing our limitations, we can foster more genuine and sincere relationships 
built on mutual understanding and respect. Starting with small tasks and gradually increasing the difficulty can be a useful approach when learning to say no. We can make choices to prioritize our well-being, such as politely declining social invitations that don't match our interests or energy levels, or establishing boundaries with coworkers regarding our availability outside of work hours. As we gain confidence in declining, we can gradually take on larger and more important demands. We should also consider the language we use when declining. Instead of just rejecting without any explanation, we can provide a concise and courteous explanation for our decision. As an illustration, we could express gratitude by saying, "I'm grateful for considering me, but I already have plans for that day, or I value the chance, but I currently don't have the capacity to take on additional projects." By offering background information for our decision, we demonstrate that we have thoroughly thought about the request and that our refusal is based on careful consideration, rather than being dismissive. Another important aspect of daring to say no is developing trust in our own instincts and judgment. Many times, we find ourselves inclined to agree to a request that doesn't match our values or energy levels. This is often because we want to meet external expectations or avoid letting others down. Nevertheless, by tapping into our own intuition and respecting our instincts, we can make choices that genuinely benefit us. With a little practice and self-reflection, we can gradually cultivate a better understanding of what aligns with our values and what doesn't. It's important to keep in mind that saying no isn't just a one-time thing. It's an ongoing practice that requires commitment and self-compassion. It's completely normal to occasionally fall back into old habits of taking on too much or trying to please everyone. The important thing is to consistently prioritize our own well-being and energy, even when it may be difficult or unfamiliar. One of the greatest advantages of confidently refusing. Is that it enables us to prioritize the things that hold true significance for us. By being mindful of the commitments we make and the requests we accept, we can make room for the things that truly bring us happiness, satisfaction, and personal development. By prioritizing what truly energizes and motivates us, we can free up more time and enthusiasm for the things that truly inspire us. Another advantage of declining requests is that it can enhance our relationships and foster a greater sense of authenticity and integrity. When we consistently agree to things that don't match our values or desires, we might end up feeling resentful, disconnected, or even dishonest. When we are transparent and upfront about our limitations and boundaries, it allows for more authentic and respectful connections with others. There may be instances where it is not feasible or suitable to decline, such as when we have already agreed to something or when the request is made by someone in a position of power. It's crucial to effectively communicate our needs and limitations in a clear and respectful manner, and to ask for support or accommodations when needed. In the end, having the courage to refuse is about acknowledging and respecting our own worth and value. It's important to recognize that our time, energy, and well-being are valuable resources that should be safeguarded and cared for. By having the bravery to reject things that do not benefit us, we communicate a strong message to ourselves and those around us that we deserve respect, care, and thoughtfulness. Mastering the art of declining requests can be challenging, requiring dedication and perseverance. However, the rewards that come with this ability are truly invaluable. Setting boundaries, trusting our instincts, and carefully choosing our commitments can help us preserve our energy, minimize stress and burnout, and make room for what truly matters in our lives. By refusing to accept what doesn't align with our values and desires, we can discover a multitude of new possibilities and opportunities. In a society that frequently values productivity, success, and pleasing others, having the courage to decline can be seen as a powerful way to take care of oneself and show self-love.
we need to question the current situation and have confidence in our own worth and value, despite external pressures and expectations. However, when we find the strength to advocate for ourselves and prioritize our own needs, we become a source of inspiration for others. This sets in motion a chain reaction of positive transformation and progress. Let's have the courage to say no when needed, and have faith that by doing so, we are not only taking care of ourselves, but also promoting a more balanced, genuine, and caring world. We should always remember that our time and energy are valuable resources that should be appreciated and treated with respect. By establishing boundaries and prioritizing our own needs, we open up opportunities for personal growth, fulfillment, and meaningful connections. Ultimately, having the courage to refuse is not about being self-centered or uncooperative, but rather about staying true to our own individual journey. Understanding that we hold the knowledge and authority over our own lives, we possess the ability and duty to make decisions that reflect our core values and aspirations. Let's embrace the power of saying no and trust that it will lead us to a more energized, authentic, and fulfilling life. Lesson 3. Believe everything will be okay. It is important to keep our energy levels in check for a well-rounded and satisfying life. In a fast-paced world that constantly demands our time, attention, and resources, it's common to feel overwhelmed, drained, and hopeless, Yet, one of the most effective tools we possess for preserving our energy and well-being is the belief that everything will work out. By embracing this belief and staying committed to it, we can access a profound source of resilience, strength, and inner peace that will support us during challenging moments. Fundamentally, the notion that everything will turn out fine revolves around placing trust and embracing surrender. It's important to understand that even though we can't control everything in our lives, we can still have faith in the universe's inherent goodness and wisdom. Trusting that everything has a purpose, even if it's not immediately clear, frees us from the weight of constant worry, fear, and doubt. We embrace the guidance of a higher power, whether it's from God, the universe, or our own intuition, and remain open to the potential for miracles and unexpected blessings. It can be quite challenging to maintain a positive outlook when we encounter tough obstacles or setbacks. It's common to slip into negative thinking, catastrophizing, or self-blame when things don't go as expected. However, during these challenging and uncertain times, it is crucial to hold on to our faith in the inherent goodness of life. When we choose to stay positive, even when things are tough, we train our minds to find the good in any situation. This helps us develop resilience and adaptability that can benefit us in all aspects of life. Developing a sense of reassurance can be achieved by embracing gratitude as a daily practice. By acknowledging and cherishing the blessings and abundance in our lives, regardless of their size or apparent significance, we redirect our attention from scarcity and lack to the inherent kindness and generosity of the universe. It becomes evident that, even when faced with difficulties and obstacles, there are always reasons to express gratitude, such as having a friend who offers support, enjoying a satisfying meal, or witnessing a breathtaking sunset. By incorporating gratitude into our daily routine, we can train our minds to seek out the positive aspects in any situation. This practice allows us to embrace the flow of positive energy and abundance. One effective method to develop a belief that everything will be all right is by practicing mindfulness and being fully present in the moment. Being fully present in the present moment helps us let go of worries and anxieties that arise from dwelling on the past or thinking about the future. We understand that right now, we are in a state of safety, we are able to breathe, and we possess all the necessary elements to be all right. When we stay focused on the present moment, we can find a sense of inner peace and calm that can help us navigate challenging situations.
Surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people who share our belief in the inherent goodness of life is crucial. Being surrounded by supportive people who have faith in our abilities can greatly boost our self belief and resilience. There is much to gain from the stories and experiences of those who have overcome similar challenges and emerged stronger and wiser. By fostering a community of people who share our values and beliefs, we establish a strong support system that can assist us in overcoming challenges. Certainly, having faith that things will work out doesn't imply passively relying on the universe to fix our issues. Instead, it implies that we tackle challenges and setbacks with confidence and acceptance, recognizing our own abilities and resilience to conquer any obstacles that arise. It means that we take action towards our goals and dreams, while also letting go of our attachment to specific outcomes and timelines. We strive to foster a deep sense of tranquility and serenity. Even when faced with tumultuous circumstances and ambiguity, fully aware that everything is progressing according to its natural course. One of the greatest advantages of having a positive outlook is that it helps us stay energized and vibrant. Even when we encounter challenges, by embracing the inherent goodness of the universe, we free ourselves from the burdensome task of constantly trying to control every aspect of our lives. We embrace the natural rhythms of life, having faith that everything unfolds for our benefit, even if it's not immediately apparent. When we let go of resistance and go with the flow of life, We save our energy and resources for what really matters, instead of wasting them on worry, fear, and doubt. One advantage of having a positive outlook is that it enables us to face obstacles and setbacks with a mindset of curiosity and receptiveness, rather than fear and opposition. By embracing the belief that everything has a purpose, we can see challenges and setbacks as chances to develop and gain knowledge. Rather than as dangers to our happiness, life can be approached with a spirit of curiosity and openness, recognizing that challenging experiences can lead to personal development and positive change. Certainly, it can be quite challenging to maintain a positive outlook when faced with significant obstacles or traumas. We should recognize and respect our emotions of fear, grief, and uncertainty. Instead of attempting to suppress or disregard them, nevertheless, through the practice of maintaining a positive mindset and embracing trust and surrender, we can gradually teach our minds to naturally find peace and calm, even when faced with challenges. Practicing affirmations and positive self-talk can be a powerful way to strengthen our belief that everything will be okay. Through consistent affirmation of our safety, support, and love, our brains gradually shift their focus towards the positive, letting go of negative thought patterns and beliefs. We have the ability to craft affirmations that align with our individual values and aspirations. By regularly reciting these affirmations, particularly during challenging or uncertain times, we can reinforce their positive impact. One way to develop a positive outlook is by incorporating visualization and manifestation techniques into your routine. Regularly envisioning our ideal outcomes and experiences helps us train our minds to focus on the positive and attract more of what we desire into our lives. There are various methods we can use to visualize our goals and aspirations. One option is to create vision boards where we can visually represent our dreams. Another approach is to write down our goals and dreams, helping us to clarify and focus on what we want to achieve. Alternatively, we can take a few moments each day to close our eyes and imagine ourselves living our ideal life. When we shift our focus towards what we desire and embrace the possibilities, we invite abundance into our lives. In order to maintain our energy and well-being. It is important to implement practical self-care strategies and have faith in the inherent goodness and wisdom of the universe. By fostering trust and surrender, practicing gratitude and mindfulness, surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people, and consistently choosing to focus on the good, 
we can access a strong source of resilience and strength that can carry us through difficult times. Let's have faith that everything will work out, even when things are uncertain and challenging. We can have faith in the innate benevolence and intelligence of the universe, as well as in our own capacity to overcome any obstacles that arise. Embrace a state of tranquility and serenity, recognizing that we possess all the necessary tools to succeed and prosper, regardless of the challenges that come our way. It's important to keep in mind that taking care of our energy and well-being not only helps us, but also has a positive impact on the world around us. Ultimately, having faith that everything will work out is not about ignoring the difficulties and hardships of life, but rather about confronting them with a mindset of trust, acceptance, and belief. It's important to remember that even during difficult times, there is always a small ray of light and hope that can help us find our way back to our true path and purpose. Let's embrace this belief and find strength and inspiration as we navigate the unpredictable journey of life. Lesson 4. Make and set your boundaries. Setting boundaries is an essential practice that is often overlooked, but plays a crucial role in maintaining our energy and leading a balanced life. Boundaries serve as a protective shield, allowing us to safeguard our time, space, and energy from the demands and expectations of others. They form the basis for creating a life that is genuine, satisfying, and enduring. If we don't establish clear and consistent boundaries, we run the risk of feeling overwhelmed, resentful, and depleted. This can make it difficult for us to fully engage with ourselves and the things that are most important to us. Setting boundaries is an essential practice for taking care of yourself and showing self-respect. It's important to prioritize our own needs and desires and let others know that we value ourselves by taking steps to protect our well-being. Setting boundaries communicates the value of our time and energy, emphasizing the need for respect and protection. We show that we prioritize our own happiness and fulfillment over pleasing others or meeting external expectations. Naturally, establishing boundaries can be challenging, particularly for people who tend to prioritize others' needs or have an aversion to confrontation. Many of us have confrontation, many of us have concerns about the potential negative consequences of setting limits or refusing requests. We may fear that it could harm our relationships, cause us to miss out on opportunities, or lead others to view us as selfish or uncooperative. Nevertheless, it's crucial to keep in mind that establishing healthy boundaries doesn't involve being strict or unyielding. Instead, it's about being transparent and truthful about our requirements for personal growth. Starting the process of setting boundaries is made easier by gaining clarity on our own values, needs, and priorities. It's important to take a moment for self-reflection and ask ourselves what truly matters to us in life. Which activities and relationships bring me joy and fulfillment? What factors should I consider when determining my priorities and boundaries for managing my time and energy? Understanding our priorities helps us recognize where we might need to establish firmer boundaries to safeguard our health and happiness. Once we understand our own needs and values, we can start communicating our boundaries to others in a clear and respectful manner. We can achieve this by politely declining requests or invitations that don't align with our priorities, setting boundaries on our availability or workload, or clearly communicating our expectations for how we want to be treated in our relationships. We should prioritize clear and concise communication to ensure our message is understood and acknowledged, avoiding any ambiguity or passive phrasing. Dealing with the discomfort or pushback that may come up when we start asserting ourselves in new ways is a common challenge when it comes to setting boundaries. It can be challenging for others to grasp or appreciate our boundaries initially, particularly if they are accustomed to us always being accommodating or self-sacrificing. Remembering to set boundaries is not about exerting control or influencing others, but rather about prioritizing our own well-being and happiness. When faced with resistance or pushback to our boundaries, 
it can be beneficial to remain connected to our own self-worth and intuition. We can remember that it's important to prioritize our own needs and desires. By doing this, we can create more room for meaningful connections and fulfillment in our lives. We can also reach out to trusted friends, family members, or professionals who can understand our experiences and assist us in maintaining our boundaries. It's crucial to be open to adjusting our boundaries as our needs and circumstances evolve. Our boundaries can change over time, and what used to work for us may not work anymore. Regularly checking in with ourselves and reassessing our boundaries is crucial for maintaining our energy and well-being. Reinforcing our boundaries can be achieved by practicing self-compassion and self-forgiveness. When we make mistakes or struggle to maintain our boundaries, it's common to criticize ourselves or feel guilty. Nevertheless, through practicing self-compassion and empathy, we can develop the strength and confidence required to consistently prioritize our well-being and uphold our personal limits, even when confronted with obstacles or difficulties. Another important aspect of setting boundaries is developing trust in our own instincts and intuition. Many times, when we feel the urge to establish a boundary, it's because we sense that our energy or well-being is being affected by paying attention to these internal signals and acting upon them. We can gradually cultivate a greater understanding of ourselves and become better at standing up for our own needs. It's important to keep in mind that establishing boundaries is not a one-time occurrence. Instead, it's an ongoing process that demands dedication, patience, and self-kindness. It's perfectly fine to make adjustments or renegotiate our boundaries when circumstances or relationships change. It is important to always prioritize our own well-being and make choices that align with our deepest values and desires. Setting boundaries has a significant advantage. It enables us to be more genuine and present in our relationships and endeavors. Understanding our own needs and limits allows for more authentic connections with others. We can focus on activities and commitments that genuinely excite us, rather than overwhelming ourselves or agreeing to things out of duty or anxiety. Setting boundaries has the potential to enhance our relationships and boost our self-esteem and self-value. By consistently expressing our needs and expectations to others, we show that we prioritize our own well-being and self. Worth. By fostering better communication, we can strengthen our relationships and boost our self-esteem. Naturally, establishing boundaries can be challenging and uncomfortable, particularly for those of us who tend to prioritize others' needs or have an aversion to confrontation. Many people find it challenging to affrontation. Many people find it challenging to establish boundaries or feel uncertain when expressing their needs and limits. Nevertheless, by consistently prioritizing our own well-being and trusting in our boundaries, we can gradually develop the self-confidence and self-respect required to handle even the most difficult situations with grace and resilience. Surrounding ourselves with people who respect and honor our needs and limits can greatly assist us in establishing boundaries. We may need to release relationships or commitments that consistently drain our energy or violate our boundaries, and instead focus on seeking connections and pursuits that uplift and inspire us. Creating a solid support system with like-minded people who respect our boundaries is crucial for our overall well-being and happiness in the long run. One important factor in establishing boundaries is becoming skilled at expressing our needs and limitations in a manner that is straightforward, concise, and considerate. One way to improve communication is by using it. Statements to express our thoughts and feelings instead of making accusations or assumptions about others. Additionally, it may require developing the skill of actively and empathetically listening to others while also maintaining our own boundaries and needs. In the end, establishing boundaries can be a valuable tool for preserving our energy, well-being, and sense of direction in life. When we prioritize our own needs and boundaries, we open up opportunities for genuine and satisfying connections, activities, and moments. We show ourselves and others that we deserve respect, care, 
and consideration, and that our time and energy are valuable resources that should be safeguarded and nurtured. Let's have the courage to establish limits in our lives, even when it seems difficult or uneasy. We can have confidence in our own needs and desires, knowing that by prioritizing our well-being, we are also benefiting everyone else. Developing self-awareness, self-compassion, and self-respect is crucial for gracefully navigating life's challenges and setbacks. Our boundaries serve as a valuable source of strength and guidance throughout our journey. Ultimately, establishing boundaries is not about constructing barriers or excluding others, but rather about cultivating an existence that is genuine, satisfying, and enduring. It's all about balancing our personal needs and desires with our ability to connect and contribute to the world. Let's embrace the importance of setting boundaries and have faith in the positive impact of living a life that reflects our core values and aspirations. When we take care of ourselves, we not only boost our own energy and well-being, but also inspire others to do the same. This creates a positive ripple effect of change and growth in the world. Lesson five: Use time management in your daily life. In today's fast-paced and increasingly demanding world, it is more important than ever to prioritize our energy levels. In a world filled with endless responsibilities, distractions, and commitments, it's no wonder that many of us often feel overwhelmed, exhausted, and burnt out. By becoming proficient in time management and integrating it into our daily routines. We can conserve energy, boost productivity, alleviate stress, and improve our overall well-being. Time management revolves around gaining control over our most valuable resource: time. We need to be deliberate and thoughtful in how we prioritize our time, making sure to concentrate on the tasks and activities that hold the most significance and value for us. Managing our time efficiently helps us find balance and harmony in our lives. This enables us to pursue our goals and dreams while still having the energy to enjoy the journey. Effective time management involves prioritization as a key principle. It's important to take a moment to evaluate our different responsibilities and commitments, and then prioritize them based on their significance and time sensitivity. By prioritizing our tasks and dedicating our time and energy to them, we can make sure we're making progress on what truly matters. Instead of getting caught up in less important activities, setting goals is another important aspect of effective time management. By clearly outlining our objectives for the near and distant future, and then breaking them down into manageable tasks, we can develop a plan for success that keeps us motivated and focused. Understanding our purpose and direction can provide us with the focus and motivation needed to achieve personal or professional goals. Even when obstacles arise, certainly achieving effective time management also necessitates a certain level of self-discipline and self-control. It can be quite challenging to stay focused with the constant distractions of social media, email, and unproductive conversations. These distractions can easily consume our time and leave us feeling drained. By establishing clear boundaries and politely declining unnecessary requests and invitations, we can make room and concentrate on our top priorities and obligations. Using scheduling and planning can be a valuable tool for enhancing our time management abilities. By establishing a clear schedule, we can effectively manage our time and ensure that our actions are in line with our objectives and principles. It's important to find a system that works for us and stick to it consistently. This could include using a physical planner, a digital calendar, or a straightforward to-do list. Another crucial aspect of effective time management involves the ability to assign and contract out tasks when necessary. We often find ourselves facing limitations in terms of time, energy, and expertise, despite our desire to handle everything independently. By recognizing tasks that can be assigned to others, such as a colleague, family member, or professional service provider, we can create more time and energy to concentrate on the things that truly demand our unique abilities and attention. Furthermore, to ensure our energy levels remain high, 
It is important to have a good grasp of time management and take care of ourselves. We should acknowledge our inherent rhythms and energy levels and organize our daily routines accordingly so that we can align ourselves with these patterns instead of resisting them. We can make our daily routine more manageable by incorporating regular breaks, prioritizing challenging tasks during our peak alertness, and establishing rituals to smoothly transition between different activities and responsibilities. Another important aspect of self-care in the context of time management is understanding how to effectively handle stress and prevent burnout. When we are always feeling drained, it's common to slip into habits of putting things off, avoiding tasks, or feeling completely overwhelmed. By integrating stress, reducing practices such as meditation, exercise, or spending time in nature into our daily routines, we can effectively manage our energy levels and maintain a state of calm and clarity, even when faced with difficult situations. Naturally, effective time management varies from person to person. Different people may find that what is effective for one person may not be as successful for another, due to variations in personality, work approach, and life situation. It's important to try out different strategies and approaches, and be open to making changes based on our individual needs and goals. Getting assistance and support from others can greatly enhance our time management efforts, one way to make progress is by seeking guidance from a coach or mentor, joining a support group or mastermind, or asking friends and family for help. Technology also plays a significant role when it comes to time management and energy protection. Although digital tools and platforms have their benefits in making our work processes more efficient, it's important to use them with caution to avoid any potential drawbacks. We should prioritize being mindful of our technology usage by establishing boundaries for screen time and notifications. By doing so, we can ensure that these tools enhance our well-being and productivity. In order to effectively maintain our energy levels, it is important to view time management as a continuous and comprehensive practice rather than a temporary solution or quick fix. Through making consistent, deliberate decisions about how we spend our time and energy, we can gradually develop habits and routines that will help us lead a more balanced, fulfilling, and energized life. One way to approach this is by regularly reassessing our priorities and goals, trying out different time management techniques and tools, and being open to making adjustments along the way. It could also mean developing more self-compassion and patience. Understanding that progress doesn't always happen in a straight line and that obstacles and difficulties are normal when trying to grow. In the end, the benefits of efficient time management are definitely worth the work. By managing our time and energy effectively, we can unleash our true potential and accomplish what truly matters to us be it in our personal lives, professional careers, or broader impact on the world. If you're feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, or eager to optimize your energy and productivity, you can try incorporating some of these time management strategies into your daily life. Begin with small steps. Have patience with yourself and have faith in the ability of consistent and purposeful actions to change your relationship with time and energy. Keep in mind that effective time management is not about striving for perfection or being rigid. Instead, it's about finding a sense of flow and alignment that suits you. It's all about finding the right balance between pursuing your passions and respecting your own boundaries and limitations. By viewing time management as a means to maintain your energy levels, you can experience a greater sense of purpose, fulfillment, and vitality in all aspects of your life. You can enhance your ability to be present and true to yourself for the people and causes that hold significance in your life. Additionally, you can develop the capacity to navigate through life's difficulties and setbacks with greater ease and strength. Embrace the power of time management and have confidence in your ability to create a life that reflects your values and aspirations. By being patient, persistent, and dedicated to your own well-being, 
you can tap into your full potential and make a meaningful impact on the world. Lesson 6. Share your true feelings. Sharing our true feelings is a powerful practice that can greatly contribute to our energy and well-being. Expressing ourselves in a genuine and vulnerable way can be a powerful form of self-care and empowerment, especially in a society that often promotes hiding our true emotions and putting on a facade. Sharing our true feelings is about acknowledging and respecting our own inner experiences and having confidence in the authenticity of our emotions. Understanding our emotions is essential for navigating life's challenges and building resilience. Our feelings, both positive and negative, provide valuable insights and guidance. When we suppress our emotions and ignore them, we end up feeling a lot of pressure and tension inside. This can make us feel tired and disconnected from ourselves. Many times, when we have unresolved feelings, we resort to unhealthy coping mechanisms such as overeating, substance abuse, or lashing out at others. These behaviors serve as a way to numb or distract ourselves from the discomfort we're experiencing. However, by allowing ourselves to openly and honestly express our emotions, we can relieve tension and achieve a sense of harmony and balance. We communicate with our own psyche, acknowledging the importance of our emotions and our commitment to listen to and respect them, even in challenging or uncomfortable situations. Certainly, expressing our genuine emotions can be challenging, particularly if we have experienced past trauma, rejection, or invalidation. Many of us have concerns about how others perceive us when we express our emotions. We fear being seen as weak, needy, or burdensome, and worry about being judged, criticized, or abandoned. It's crucial to keep in mind that sharing our feelings is not about seeking approval, validation, or agreement from others. It's all about embracing our complete humanity, with its intricate and occasionally conflicting emotions. Sharing our genuine emotions allows us to forge stronger and more genuine bonds with those around us. We encourage others to perceive us as our authentic selves, rather than the carefully crafted or filtered versions of ourselves that we may project to the public. We foster an environment that encourages empathy, compassion, and mutual understanding, even when faced with disagreement or differing perspectives. Naturally, it's important to exercise discretion when it comes to sharing our thoughts and feelings with others. We should carefully consider who we decide to share our thoughts and feelings with, ensuring that it is done in a manner that feels secure, suitable, and agreed upon by both parties. We can make things clearer by setting boundaries on what we're comfortable sharing and with whom. One option is to reach out to people we trust, such as confidants, therapists, or support groups. They can offer a safe and supportive environment for us to work through our emotions. It may also include developing self-compassion and patience, acknowledging that healing and personal development often follow a non-linear path, with setbacks and challenges being a normal part of the journey. Journaling or engaging in creative self-expression can be a powerful method for developing the habit of openly expressing our true emotions. Through regular self-reflection and creative expression, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and enhance our emotional intelligence, benefiting various aspects of our lives. One important aspect of expressing our true emotions is being able to communicate them in a manner that is straightforward, easy to grasp and considerate. We can express our own experiences and perspectives using I statements instead of accusing or assuming things about others. Additionally, it requires honing active listening skills and maintaining receptiveness to feedback and dialogue, even in challenging situations. In the end, the aim of expressing our genuine emotions is not to completely get rid of or evade negative feelings, but rather to cultivate a more adept and empathetic connection with them. Understanding and embracing our emotions allows us to develop resilience, adaptability, and inner peace, even when life throws challenges our way. 
It's important to note that sharing our feelings doesn't solve all of life's problems, and not everyone will understand or accept them. At times, we may experience the distressing emotions of being misunderstood, rejected, or attacked when we try to express our genuine thoughts and feelings. This can lead to feelings of pain and isolation. It's crucial to keep in mind that our emotions are valid and deserving of respect, even if others don't always acknowledge or appreciate them. It's crucial to find sources of support and validation from within ourselves and from people who genuinely see and appreciate us for who we truly are. Sharing our true feelings is a personal and individual journey that demands courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to step outside our comfort zones. It may require addressing ingrained habits of self censorship, people pleasing, or emotional suppression. And developing trust in our own inner experiences. However, when we make the conscious decision to acknowledge and express our true emotions, we can experience a heightened sense of energy, connection, and meaning in every aspect of our lives. We communicate a strong message to ourselves and others that our emotions are important, and that we deserve to be acknowledged, listened to, and appreciated for our authentic selves. If you're having trouble staying energized and feeling good, try making it a habit to express your genuine emotions every day. Begin with small steps. Have patience with yourself and have faith in the power of genuine self expression to lead you towards more healing, personal development, and satisfaction. Keep in mind that expressing your emotions doesn't indicate any weakness or insufficiency. Instead, It shows your resilience, bravery, and dedication to your own happiness. When you openly and sincerely express yourself, you encourage others to do the same, fostering a culture of empathy, understanding, and compassion in the world. Embrace the power of expressing your genuine emotions and have faith in your inner wisdom and strength to lead you on your path. By dedicating time and effort to your emotional well being, You can develop a stronger sense of vitality, genuineness, and connection in every aspect of your life. This will allow you to leave a positive impact on the world and inspire others to heal and grow. Lesson 7 Listen actively and expect the same. In today's fast paced, hyper connected world, it can be overwhelming and exhausting to constantly juggle the demands on our time and attention. In a world filled with distractions, obligations, and competing priorities, it can sometimes be difficult to keep our energy levels up and be fully engaged in our relationships and interactions. Yet, an incredibly effective way to maintain our energy and cultivate meaningful relationships is through the practice of active listening. Listening attentively requires us to be fully present and focused on the speaker. Without any judgment, interruptions, or distractions. It's all about fostering a welcoming environment where people can freely express themselves and promoting empathy, understanding, and respect. By actively listening to others, we convey the importance of their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. It shows that we value their perspective and are committed to truly hearing and comprehending them. In addition, Active listening involves more than just one person speaking and the other person listening. When we engage in conversations with the mindset of reciprocating the same level of presence and attentiveness that we give, we foster an environment for more invigorating, significant, and mutually advantageous interactions. We encourage others to participate wholeheartedly and genuinely, and to interact with us in a spirit of receptiveness, inquisitiveness, and cooperation. Undoubtedly, active listening can be challenging, particularly in a culture that tends to prioritize quickness, effectiveness, and self expression over profound contemplation and comprehension. It just takes a willingness to take things slow, put aside our own agendas and assumptions, and make room for the other person to freely express themselves without any fear of judgment or interruption. Mastering active listening involves effectively handling our own internal reactions and impulses. 
When someone shares something that evokes a strong emotional response, such as excitement, anger, or defensiveness, we may feel compelled to interject with our own thoughts and opinions. With some self-regulation and patience, we can give others the opportunity to express their perspective and gain valuable insights for ourselves. Understanding active listening involves the ability to ask questions for clarification and summarize what we have heard. By doing this, we can make sure that we have a clear understanding of the other person's message. It also shows that we are genuinely interested and engaged in the conversation. Paraphrasing or summarizing what we've heard can be beneficial for both parties involved. It allows the other person to feel understood and acknowledged, while also helping us better understand their experience. Naturally, active listening goes beyond simply receiving information passively. It involves actively participating and engaging in the conversation. We should contribute our own insights, experiences, and perspectives, while also being receptive to learning from others. By adopting an open and receptive mindset, we can foster engaging and significant conversations that make both participants feel acknowledged, comprehended, and appreciated. In addition, through regular practice of active listening in our everyday lives, we can foster a culture of increased empathy, respect, and collaboration in our relationships, workplaces, and communities. We strive to convey a clear message that values the importance of every individual's perspective and fosters a sense of unity and empathy among us all. By actively listening to others, we can gain valuable insights and perspectives. This helps us build trust, report, and connection, which can lead to more fruitful partnerships and collaborations. It can be challenging to expect others to listen attentively all the time. At times, it can be incredibly frustrating and exhausting when we feel like our thoughts and feelings are not being acknowledged or understood by the people in our lives. It's crucial to keep in mind that we have no control over how others behave or react, but we do have control over our own actions. By consistently demonstrating a presence that is attentive and respectful, we encourage others to reciprocate with a similar level of care and thoughtfulness. In addition, when we establish clear boundaries and expectations regarding our own needs for active listening and mutual understanding, we convey a strong message about our self-worth and importance. We prioritize fostering relationships and engaging in conversations that promote mutual respect, empathy, and collaboration. Our aim is to create an environment where everyone feels valued and understood. Clear and direct communication allows for more genuine and energizing connections with others. Another important aspect of active listening involves allowing for moments of silence and reflection. In a world that can often feel chaotic and overwhelming, it's easy to get caught up in constant chatter and busyness. However, when we make time for moments of peaceful reflection and self-examination, we open the door for profound realizations, comprehension, and meaningful connections to arise. By embracing moments of silence, we open up the opportunity for our minds and hearts to process intricate thoughts and emotions. This practice cultivates a feeling of tranquility and rejuvenation, providing a much-needed sense of peace and clarity. Naturally, Effective listening involves more than just the words we hear. It also encompasses the nonverbal cues and signals we perceive. We can gain valuable insights into someone's emotional state and underlying needs and desires by paying attention to their tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language. By being fully present and attentive in our conversations, we can foster more empathetic and responsive exchanges that truly acknowledge the complexity and humanity of the other person. Another crucial aspect of active listening involves releasing our own ego and personal agenda. Having a predetermined agenda in conversations hinders our capacity to genuinely listen and comprehend the other person's viewpoint. When we let go of our attachment to a specific outcome or message, it allows for more genuine, spontaneous, and mutually beneficial exchanges to happen. By embracing a mindset of receptiveness and adaptability, 
we invite fresh perspectives, opportunities, and ways of existing into our lives. Active listening is valuable not only in our personal relationships, but also in our professional and civic lives. By approaching our work and community engagements with a spirit of deep listening and attentiveness, we can foster the emergence of more innovative, collaborative, and impactful solutions. By embracing a wide range of perspectives and truly listening to others, we can access a wealth of wisdom and creativity that has the power to positively impact our organizations, communities, and world. Certainly, developing the habit of active listening and expecting the same from others can be challenging at times. It necessitates consistent practice, patience, and self-reflection. There might be occasions when we don't quite meet our own standards, or when we face opposition or defensiveness from others. In these moments, it's crucial to show compassion and understanding to ourselves and others, while also reaffirming our commitment to being fully present and attentive. Developing the habit of active listening can be made easier by starting with small steps and gradually increasing your effort. You can incorporate this by dedicating specific time each day to have meaningful conversations with your loved ones or colleagues. Additionally, you can practice active listening during meetings or group discussions. Consistently demonstrating presence, curiosity, and care. Sends a strong message about the significance of genuine connection to ourselves and those around us. Another important strategy for maintaining our energy through active listening is to make self-care and setting boundaries a priority. If we keep giving without taking care of ourselves, we run the risk of burning out, feeling resentful, and becoming disconnected. By establishing clear boundaries for our time, energy, and emotional capacity. And by focusing on activities that rejuvenate and replenish us, we can foster more sustainable, invigorating, and mutually rewarding relationships and interactions. In the end, the act of actively listening and expecting the same from others is a lifelong journey filled with growth, discovery, and connection. It necessitates a readiness to be open, to venture beyond our familiar territory. And to welcome the uneasiness and complexity of genuine human connection. However, when we consistently prioritize being present, attentive, and caring, we pave the way for more fulfilling and impactful connections in every aspect of our lives. By actively listening to others and encouraging them to reciprocate, we fulfill a basic human desire for connection, comprehension, and a sense of belonging. We understand that, despite our differences and disagreements, we all have a shared humanity and a longing to be acknowledged, listened to, and appreciated for our true selves. By recognizing and embracing this truth within ourselves and others, we foster a strong sense of trust, connection, and unity that remains steadfast even in the face of difficult situations. In addition. When we make active listening a habit and encourage others to do the same, we help foster a cultural shift towards more empathy, collaboration, and understanding. We understand the importance of effective communication in today's complex and interconnected world. It is crucial for us to listen and appreciate each other's perspectives in order to create a fair, empathetic, and sustainable future for everyone. If you're having trouble staying energized and forming meaningful connections, try incorporating active listening into your life. It can be a powerful tool for personal growth, healing, and transformation. Begin with small steps. Practice patience with yourself and others, and have faith in the transformative power of being fully present to lead you towards a more vibrant, connected, and meaningful life. Keep in mind that. Active listening isn't about being perfect or always having the perfect words to say. It's all about approaching with sincerity, a desire to learn, and a readiness to be influenced by what you hear. It's important to acknowledge and respect the inherent value and dignity of every person, as well as the valuable contributions and lessons we can all provide to each other. When we make a habit of actively listening and encouraging others to do the same, 
we can have a powerful impact on the world around us, sparking positive change and transformation. We encourage others to approach situations with more attentiveness, compassion, and consideration. Fostering a culture of enhanced comprehension, cooperation, and regard. We understand that listening and appreciating each other is not only something we do individually, but also a shared responsibility that leads to a fairer, more caring, and prosperous world for everyone. Let's make a commitment to actively listen and expect the same from others. This practice is not only important for our own energy and well being, but also has the potential to create positive change and transformation in the world. Approach every conversation and interaction with an open mind, curiosity, and kindness, and believe in the transformative power of genuine connections to lead us to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. In a world that can often feel divided and distant, actively listening to others and encouraging them to do the same can lead us towards better comprehension, empathy, and togetherness. It serves as a reminder of how we are all connected. And the incredible strength and beauty within each of us. It encourages us to fully and genuinely engage in our relationships and interactions, and to work together to create a world that is more compassionate, collaborative, and caring. Let's all adopt the habit of active listening and encourage others to do the same. It's a call to action that we can all embrace. We must acknowledge that our capacity to genuinely listen and appreciate each other is not only desirable but essential for establishing a fair, equal, and prosperous world for everyone. Let's have faith in the strong impact of genuine connections to lead us towards a future filled with more energy, meaning, and a sense of belonging for ourselves and for everyone we interact with. Lesson 8. Use and trust your instinct. Instinct is a powerful tool that helps us maintain our energy and navigate the complexities of life. Instinct, also referred to as intuition or gut feeling, is a natural sense of knowing that emerges from within us, often without conscious reasoning or explanation. That gentle yet persistent voice leads us towards what feels right and true, even when faced with uncertainty or opposition. Trusting and using our instinct can be challenging, especially in a world that tends to value logic, analysis, and external validation more than inner wisdom and self trust. Since childhood, we are often encouraged to question our innate wisdom and rely on external validation and advice instead of trusting our own inner voice. Consequently, we might feel out of touch with our inner guidance. Making it difficult to make choices or act in accordance with our core values and aspirations. As we develop a strong reliance on our intuition, we access a source of vitality, lucidity, and strength that can support us during difficult situations. We gain the ability to navigate life's challenges more smoothly and gracefully, relying on the innate wisdom of our bodies, minds, and spirits to lead us towards our own truth. And what is best for us. Using and trusting our instinct has a major advantage. It helps us make decisions and take actions that truly reflect who we are. We develop the ability to tune out external influences and instead focus on our inner voice, which guides us towards our genuine desires and needs. We learn to respect our own boundaries, desires, and values. Even when they may not align with the opinions or convenience of others, by relying on our intuition, we develop a stronger understanding of ourselves and our own abilities. We become attuned to the subtle cues and signals that our bodies and minds constantly send us. These can include feelings of unease in certain situations, sudden bursts of inspiration or creativity, or a strong sense of knowing what action to take. By paying attention to these internal messages and taking action with bravery and confidence, we cultivate a stronger and more resilient sense of self that can endure even the most difficult challenges. One major advantage of relying on our instinct is that it helps us preserve and safeguard our energy amidst the numerous demands and distractions of life. 
When we constantly doubt ourselves, look for validation from others, or do things that drain us, we put ourselves at risk of burnout, exhaustion, and losing touch with who we really are. Nevertheless, as we develop faith in our intuition and make decisions that prioritize our genuine needs and desires, we establish a feeling of harmony, ease, and energy that can support us in the face of challenging situations. Certainly, becoming adept at utilizing and relying on our intuition can be challenging at times, necessitating a willingness to venture beyond our familiar territories and embrace uncertainty. By taking calculated risks, at times our intuition may guide us towards paths that seem daunting, unfamiliar, or even illogical to our rational thinking. During these times, it's crucial to keep in mind that our instincts aren't foolproof or fail. Safe, but they can serve as a helpful compass to steer us through uncertainty with more clarity, bravery, and resilience. Developing a stronger trust in our intuition can be achieved by incorporating mindfulness and self-reflection into our daily routine. By dedicating a few moments each day to connecting with our inner world, we can become more aware of the sensations, emotions, and thoughts that arise within us. This practice helps us develop a deeper understanding of our instinctual knowledge. We develop the ability to differentiate between our authentic self and the distractions of our ego, fears, or doubts and make decisions based on our strong inner intuition and certainty. Surrounding ourselves with supportive and encouraging people who honor and respect our inner wisdom is an important strategy for using and trusting our instinct. In a world filled with constant messages of doubt, criticism, and conformity, it's all too common to lose touch with our own inner voice and guidance. Yet. When we find connections and communities that value and support our individual strengths, abilities, and viewpoints, we establish a feeling of security, inclusion, and empowerment that enables us to rely on and follow our natural intuition with more comfort and assurance. Naturally, relying on our intuition does not guarantee flawless or foolproof choices. There might be occasions when our intuitive understanding misguides us or when we have to adjust our path due to fresh information or insights. It's crucial to approach our instincts with a curious, humble, and open mindset in these moments as we strive to learn and develop. We can view our past mistakes and missteps as chances to develop a deeper understanding of ourselves, show ourselves kindness, and build confidence as we move ahead. You need to find a balance between relying on our instincts and seeking guidance from other sources of knowledge. Our instinctual knowledge is indeed valuable, but it's not the only resource we have. Integrating our instinct with reason, logic, and external feedback and support allows for a more comprehensive and balanced approach to decision-making and problem. Solving. We can develop our instinct as a compass and guide, while also being receptive to new information, perspectives, and possibilities that can enhance our understanding. Relying on our intuition is not only an individual habit, but also a shared obligation. By valuing and appreciating the innate wisdom of others, even if it differs from our own, we foster a culture of empathy, collaboration, and comprehension and comprehension. We understand the importance of individual perspectives and believe that by actively listening and sharing knowledge, we can harness a powerful collective intelligence and creativity. Developing a strong reliance on our intuition can be challenging at times, necessitating continuous effort, understanding, and kindness towards ourselves. At certain moments, we might experience a sense of being lost or disconnected from our inner wisdom. During these times, the voices of fear, doubt, or external pressure can overshadow the quiet whispers of our own hearts and minds. It's crucial to keep in mind that our instinct is an ongoing journey of personal development, exploration, and self-confidence. Practicing self-care and self-nurturing can greatly enhance our connection to our instinct. By prioritizing self-care and making time for rest, we can cultivate a sense of inner spaciousness and clarity. This, in turn, 
allows our instinctual knowledge to flow more freely and abundantly. We discover the importance of prioritizing our own needs and following our natural rhythms. We embrace the wisdom that our bodies and hearts hold and make choices that stem from a genuine sense of self-care and self-value. One important strategy for utilizing and relying on our instincts is to develop bravery and perseverance when confronted with fear, uncertainty, and difficulties. When we encounter challenging decisions, setbacks, or obstacles, it can be simple to disconnect from our inner wisdom and guidance and revert to familiar patterns of self-doubt, self-criticism, or self-sabotage. Nevertheless, by cultivating a solid and unwavering sense of self grounded in our core values, desires, and instincts, we can navigate through challenging situations with poise, insight, and confidence. In addition, relying on our intuition is not only a way to take care of ourselves, but also a potent catalyst for creating positive change and growth in our surroundings. By tapping into our instinctual knowledge, by tapping into our instinctual knowledge, we can unlock a wealth of creativity, innovation, and inspiration. This can empower us to solve problems, overcome challenges, and work towards a more just, compassionate, and sustainable world. Naturally, relying on our instincts can be challenging and may involve facing our own fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs. There may be occasions when our intuitive understanding guides us towards a path that seems uncertain, unpopular, or even unattainable to our logical thinking. During these times, it's crucial to keep in mind that our instincts don't guarantee success or protect us from failure. Instead, they serve as a helpful compass to navigate the unknown with clarity, courage, and resilience. In the end, Relying on our intuition is a lifelong journey of understanding ourselves, gaining confidence, and building trust in ourselves. It's important to truly listen to our inner voice, respect our genuine needs and desires, and have the courage to take action even when faced with uncertainty and challenges. It requires developing a strong understanding of ourselves, being kind and forgiving to ourselves, and surrounding ourselves with people who support and inspire us to embrace our individual strengths and abilities. By consistently relying on our intuition, we can access a profound source of energy, clarity, and resilience that can support us in challenging situations. We gain the ability to navigate life's challenges more smoothly and gracefully, relying on the innate wisdom within ourselves to lead us towards our own truth and what is best for us. We cultivate a stronger and more genuine sense of self, grounded in our core values, desires, and instincts. And we motivate others to do the same by leading through our own actions. In addition, when we acknowledge and value the innate wisdom of others, even if it differs from our own, we foster a culture of empathy, teamwork, and comprehension. We understand the importance of individual perspectives and the power of collaboration in unlocking a collective intelligence and creativity that surpasses individual contributions. We strive to foster a world where everyone's inner voice and guidance are valued and honored. Together, we collaborate to build a future that is fair, empathetic, and environmentally conscious for everyone. If you're having trouble keeping your energy up and dealing with life's challenges, try embracing your instincts as a powerful tool for personal growth, healing, and transformation. Begin with small steps. Practice patience with yourself and others. And have faith in the deep wisdom within you to guide you towards a more vibrant, meaningful, and satisfying life. Keep in mind that relying on your instincts doesn't require perfection or having all the right answers all the time. It's all about developing a strong sense of trust in your own intuition and guidance, even when things get tough and uncertain. It's all about recognizing and respecting your genuine needs and desires and having the bravery and confidence to follow your core values and instincts. 
When you consistently rely on your instincts, you can access a powerful source of energy, clarity, and resilience that will support you in challenging situations. You develop the ability to handle life's challenges more smoothly and gracefully, relying on the innate wisdom of your body, mind, and spirit to lead you towards what is authentic and appropriate for you. You cultivate a stronger and more genuine sense of self, grounded in your core values, desires, and instincts, and you motivate others to do the same by leading through your own actions. When you value and appreciate the intuitive wisdom of others, even if it differs from your own, you foster a culture of empathy, teamwork, and comprehension. You understand the importance of appreciating and respecting each individual's instincts, which offer valuable wisdom and insight. By actively listening and learning from one another, we can access a collective intelligence and creativity that surpasses what we can achieve individually. We strive to foster a world where everyone's inner voice and guidance are valued and honored, and where we collaborate to build a fair, empathetic, and environmentally conscious future for everyone. It's important to recognize the value of relying on our instincts. By doing so, we can not only take care of ourselves, but also make a significant impact on the world. We should develop a strong belief in our own intuition and guidance. And encourage others to do the same by setting a good example, and leading with confidence. Let's collaborate to build a world that values, respects, and celebrates everyone's innate wisdom. By harnessing the collective intelligence and creativity of all, we can create a better, more compassionate, and sustainable future for future generations. Lesson nine: Sometimes it is okay to pull back. In our fast-paced and high-pressure world, it can often feel like we must constantly push ourselves to the limit. We receive constant messages about the importance of working harder, putting in more hours, and persevering even when we're exhausted. However, it is important to acknowledge that there are times when it is beneficial for us to take a step back in order to preserve our energy and overall well-being. Retreating doesn't imply surrendering or losing progress. It involves purposefully pausing to relax, rejuvenate, and reconnect with our inner selves. It involves recognizing our own needs and boundaries, and allowing ourselves to take a break, even when there is pressure to keep going at a fast pace. When we consistently push ourselves too hard, there's a risk of burning out, feeling overwhelmed, and losing sight of what truly matters to us. We might experience fatigue, stress, and a sense of disconnection from our own needs and desires. With time, these issues can result in various health problems, strained relationships, and a general feeling of dissatisfaction and unhappiness. However, when we give ourselves permission to step back and rest, we make room for healing, personal development, and rejuvenation. We allow ourselves the opportunity to rest and rejuvenate. Enabling us to return to our daily lives and obligations with renewed vigor, a clearer mindset, and enhanced concentration. We also provide a platform for people to reflect and discover more about themselves, as they become more attuned to their own needs, desires, and priorities. There are various ways to pull back, which can be tailored to our specific situations and personal choices. For many people. It could involve setting aside a day to relax and rejuvenate in the comfort of their own homes. Some people find it helpful to dedicate a portion of their day to quiet reflection, meditation, or journaling. You might need to decline social invitations or additional commitments to make more time for self-care and personal interests. Regardless of the method used, it is important to approach the process of pulling back with purpose and kindness towards oneself. It's important to remember that it's perfectly okay to take a break and prioritize self. Care without feeling guilty. Instead, it's important to understand that rest and renewal are crucial aspects of being human. By acknowledging our own needs and limitations, we can be more present and genuine in every aspect of our lives. Certainly, it can be challenging to step back. Particularly in a society that frequently links productivity to one's value as a person, 
Many of us have concerns about the potential consequences of taking a break, such as falling behind, missing out on opportunities, or being perceived as lazy or unambitious. There can be external expectations that compel us to continue pushing ourselves, even when we're exhausted. During these moments, it's crucial to keep in mind that retracting is not a display of weakness, but rather a demonstration of strength and self-awareness. Honoring our own needs and limitations requires courage and self-respect, especially when faced with conflicting messages from the world. By allowing ourselves the time to rest and recharge, we not only prioritize our own well-being, but also set a positive example for others by demonstrating the importance of healthy boundaries and self-care. In addition, taking a step back can actually enhance our productivity and effectiveness in the long term. Being fully rested and rejuvenated allows us to tackle our tasks and obligations with increased vigor, ingenuity, and concentration. We can reduce the likelihood of making mistakes, burning out, or feeling resentful and disengaged. By incorporating regular breaks and making self-care a priority, we can actually increase our productivity and experience greater happiness and fulfillment. Another important advantage of pulling back. Is that it enables us to re-establish a connection with what truly holds significance for us. Amidst our hectic lives, it can be challenging to stay connected to our own values, passions, and priorities. Many times, we go about our daily lives without pausing to reflect on our true desires and necessities. By simply pausing and giving ourselves time to reflect and look inward. We can achieve a clearer understanding and broader view of our lives and decisions. We can reflect on significant questions such as, "What brings me joy and fulfillment? Can you please provide me with information about your deepest values and priorities? How can I best allocate my time and energy?" By answering these questions sincerely and genuinely, we can make more deliberate and harmonious choices moving forward. Naturally, taking a step back doesn't imply completely disconnecting from our obligations or connections. Striking a balance between self-care and being there for others is crucial. By incorporating regular moments of rest, renewal, and self-reflection into our routines, we can approach our lives and commitments with renewed energy, enhanced clarity, and a stronger sense of purpose. In the end. The act of stepping back is all about having faith in our own intuition and inner guidance. It's important to acknowledge that we have a deep understanding of our own lives and what we require. By respecting our own natural patterns and boundaries, we can build a life that is true to ourselves, rewarding and manageable. If you're feeling tired, stressed, or out of touch with your own needs and wants. It might be helpful to allow yourself to take a step back. Make sure to give yourself a break. Carve out some time for self-care and introspection, and don't be afraid to decline additional responsibilities that don't align with what matters most to you. Have faith that prioritizing self-care not only benefits your own well-being, but also opens up opportunities for increased energy, clarity, and purpose in every aspect of your life. It's important to keep in mind that pulling back is something that should be done regularly, as part of taking care of yourself and exploring who you are. It's important to be patient, show self-compassion, and listen to our inner guidance, even when others may be pushing us in a different direction. However, by consistently prioritizing our own needs and recognizing our limitations, we can develop a stronger sense of resilience, authenticity, and joy. In every aspect of our lives, let's fully embrace the idea of taking a step back and have faith in our own bodies, minds, and spirits to lead us towards what truly nourishes and gives us life. We should prioritize creating space for rest, renewal, and self-discovery. By taking care of ourselves, we not only maintain our own energy and well-being, but also contribute to a more compassionate, sustainable. And fulfilling world for all. Final lesson: energy protection. As we reach the conclusion of this exploration of energy protection, it's crucial to acknowledge that safeguarding and fostering our energy 
is a lifelong endeavor. The lessons and strategies we've discussed throughout these pages are designed to be incorporated into our daily lives as ongoing practices rather than quick fixes. Keeping our energy levels up necessitates being mindful of ourselves, taking care of ourselves, and being kind to ourselves. It encourages us to be aware of our boundaries, to pay attention to our own needs and desires, and to make decisions that are in line with our core values and aspirations. It encourages us to develop trust and let go, recognizing that when we prioritize self-care, we can be more present and genuine in every aspect of our lives. Throughout this book, we've covered a range of strategies to help us protect and maintain our energy. These include focusing on ourselves, learning to say no, trusting that everything will be okay, and setting healthy boundaries. We've covered the significance of implementing effective time management, expressing our genuine emotions, and actively engaging in attentive listening, while also anticipating the same level of reciprocity. We have also explored the importance of relying on our intuition, recognizing when to take a step back and utilizing massage therapy to naturally enhance our energy levels. These lessons provide different viewpoints on energy protection, and you can easily adapt and incorporate them in a way that feels genuine and meaningful to you. It's important to approach this journey with a mindset of curiosity, openness, and self-compassion, understanding that there isn't a universal solution for protecting and nurturing our energy. As you progress beyond these pages, keep in mind that energy protection is not about striving for perfection or constantly feeling energized and vibrant. It's all about gaining a better grasp of your personal needs and patterns and treating them with purpose and consideration. It's important to develop resilience and adaptability, recognizing that life will always have its share of challenges and setbacks. By prioritizing self-care, you can navigate these difficult times more smoothly and gracefully and gracefully. Most importantly, keep in mind that you deserve the time, attention, and care that energy protection demands. You deserve a life that feels genuine, satisfying, and in harmony with your core values and dreams. By prioritizing the preservation and cultivation of your energy, you are not only benefiting yourself, but also making a positive impact on creating a kinder, more sustainable, and lively world for everyone. As you finish reading this book and embark on your own energy protection journey, Approach it with optimism, potential, and self-care. Have faith in your own intuition and strength, and remember that when you prioritize self-care, you inspire others to do the same. Keep in mind that maintaining your energy is a continuous process that involves personal growth, healing, and self-discovery throughout your life. Embrace the natural fluctuations, the highs and lows, and the chances for growth and change that this journey presents. Remember to always prioritize a life that brings you energy, fulfillment, and a sense of aliveness. Thank you for joining me as we delve into the world of energy protection. These lessons and strategies will help you develop a stronger understanding of yourself, take better care of yourself, and cultivate self-love. They will also assist you in creating a life that is genuine, purposeful, and full of energy. Let's embrace the path ahead and cherish and safeguard the valuable energy within us.